is saying that this is an example of what's going to happen to me how could Jesus compare himself to a serpent he's always compared to a lion a lamb he's always compared to these beautiful animals a serpent is symbolic of Satan it's symbolic of sin how could Jesus say he is a serpent hanging on the cross now this is a secret it's a very simple secret but it's a very revolutionary secret in second Corinthians, second Corinthians 521 it says this for he God made him Jesus who knew no sin to be sin for us that we might become righteousness of God in him I want you to listen very carefully this is where the freedom exists for ruining ruling in life on the cross Jesus was sin most of us just believe that Jesus just took my sin the Bible says that on the cross he who knew no sin became sin that you who know no righteousness can become righteousness Jesus on the cross was not just a lamb he was also a serpent he had to become bad don't never once doing something bad so that people who've never done anything good in their life can become good how did Jesus become bad did Jesus steal something from someone before he got on the cross did Jesus punch somebody in the face before he got on the cross did Jesus open his mouth and f-bombs came out of his mouth before he got on the cross no 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 he did nothing how did he got all of the sin the father just gave it to him why so the same way he can give you righteousness without ever doing anything right just a gift imagine nothing Jesus did nothing wrong but dying as a wrong man why so that people who've never done anything right can rule as though they live their whole life being righteous I want you to know today as a Christian you cannot reign in life because you're perfect you'll never be perfect enough you cannot reign in life because you are somehow achieved a level of spiritual depth with God you can only rule in life when you open your mind to the reality that righteousness is a gift gift to be received how ask Jesus how he did he receive sin by opening his life to the father's will when you open your life to the father's will and say father I'm a sinner I'm tired of living under subjection of my circumstances I'm tired of demons and devils walking over my life every single day I'm tired of being addicted to this thing and God you created me for more than this I feel it inside of me every day that's why I'm not happy with it a dog can be happy with being on a leash but I'm not because I'm not a dog I'm made out of the same material you have inside of you God that's why something inside of me always rebels something inside of me always says no that's not how it's supposed to be I know that I'm doing it day after day and I'll probably doing it day after day after today but something inside says there has to be more there has to be more you have an image of God inside of you and that image is the image that never goes under it always rules over but that image has been marred by sin and God is saying the only way you can rise up again is not just by doing something more it's that you have to receive righteousness the same way Jesus received sin opening yourself up and say God I can't do it give me that gift and when